Yeah, as you can see. The file is downloaded, which means the next easy recipe is now available. <laughs> that was Mike on his vintage computer. You guys interacted with him on Instagram. Anyway. Uh, why am I always squeezing in stories that have nothing to do with easy recipes? That's just how uh, we am, guys. Okay, today we're going to make uh, banana bread with the hot air fryer. So it's going to be um, a lot easier, I hope. What we need for this recipe... It's going to bake itself. It's going to bake itself, basically, yeah. Practically. Practically. What we're going to need for this recipe is two bananas. Preferably ones that start to... Um, get the brown the brown spots on the outside which means that they're really mushy and that also means that they have more aroma and more flavor but only not to eat them when they're that brown that far they really they're not delicious to eat but they are delicious to make in uh, recipes cake and all that so that's just how it works you guys so we need about two bananas not that we need two bananas uh, we need about 100 grams of soft uh, soft butter. Make sure that you get it on time from the fridge, which I didn't. I forgot. Uh, the same amount, which means another 100 grams of brown sugar. So we have 100 grams of soft butter and then 100 grams of brown sugar. We have one little of these pockets of vanilla sugar. You guys told me that you don't have uh, people, friends in the US that are watching. You guys told me that you don't have this. I think one of you told me this. I think it was Renee. I think it was you, Renee. Anyway, but I think you managed to find something on the internet, some Dutch uh, uh, stuff. So um, what they say is, is basically sugar that has the aroma and the, the smell of vanilla. Uh, so that's that's basically what it is. Um, see if you can find some vanilla powder and just mix it with a little bit of sugar. I hope that will give you uh, the same result. If not, then just try to find vanilla sugar. I mean, it's now the internet age. You can find anything online, guys. So uh, we are going for the bourbon just because it's a new kind of vanilla sugar that I wanted to try out to see if that adds anything special to the flavor. So one of these vanilla sugar little pockets here in Holland is eight grams. Make sure that you have eight grams of vanilla sugar. Um, two eggs, scramble them together, just medium size. Uh, 200 grams of all-purpose flour. What else? Um, half a teaspoon of baking powder. Uh, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one whole teaspoon. Mm, what else? Um, one tablespoon of coconut uh, oil. Well, this is when it's melted, when you keep it outside the fridge, it's uh, like soft butter, but I just took it out of the fridge, so I have to make some sort of uh, flour, uh, uh, flakes to uh to get one uh, tablespoon so that's what i'm doing but again just like with the butter make sure you get it on time from the fridge so yeah you can use coconut just because it's a healthier option but you can also use if you want the sunflower oil one tablespoon of sunflower oil uh i think that's it now um this is for for your basic recipe your basic uh, banana bread recipe if you want to jazz it up and throw other stuff in there um, you can choose one of the following. You can, for example, add 50 grams of chocolate flakes, or you can add 100 grams of coconut flakes, or 100 grams of raisins, or, you know, one, we call this one little hand, you know, a handful of uh, walnut pieces. Just break them a little bit. Or uh, a handful of blueberries. And I think I'm going to go today for the handful of blueberries. So let's see you guys. Like always, basic uh, uh, ingredients. Let's start. So, first, we're going to start with the bananas. I'm sorry, guys. It doesn't look as fancy because this is just uh, something that I just decided to do. I didn't prepare for this. First, we're going to start with the bananas. You know, we're going to start mashing them like really good till you have like almost fluid banana porridge. Well, not really, you know what I mean, I'll show you. So anyway, there's the banana. 
See? Banana. banana. Or it depends. If you're from the UK, then there's the banana. If you're from the US, there's the banana. So you get it, guys. See? It's almost fluid. You can almost scramble it like you would with an egg. You need to reach that stage or even more. Anyway, yeah, so this is it. Guys, remember, if your butter is not soft fast enough, then, you know, use, use the microwave. See? There it is. So, uh, you guessed it. The next step is we're going to add the butter in there. Then we're going to add the brown sugar. Wow, it's almost like, like a break, but that's what brown sugar does. And then I'm going to add the vanilla sugar, the whole pocket, which is 8 grams. Okay, and then I'm going to mix this like really good, like your life depends on it. Yeah, guys, this is how the bourbon vanilla, vanilla sugar looks like. Oh, and it smells so good. If you have this option, please do it. It just takes you back to when you were little making cookies with your mom. So, again, still in that step. We have the banana, the butter, the brown sugar, and the vanilla sugar. And like I said, mix them really, really banana. good. Banana. So guys, now time to add the flour, which I will be sifting. I can do it with one hand. I'm just showing you, and then I'm going to... Put the iPhone down and do this properly. But yeah, you get it. This is it. Just sift it. No. So there's the mixture with the flour. Now, from this point on, actually, uh, basically, I'm uh, just going to add all the other uh, ingredients, which means the baking powder, the cinnamon, the eggs, the one tablespoon of oil, or in this case, one tablespoon of coconut oil, as I have it here, and a pinch of salt. Just a pinch, really. A little pinch. Just a little pinch. Just a little pinch, like you pinch yourself, like, pew. Okay, so, that's it. No. <laughs> pinch yourself. Okay, so I'm going to add all the other ingredients in here and then start and, and continue mixing it really good. And then we're done, you guys. Then it's going to go into the hot air fryer. So again... That is the baking powder, the cinnamon, the eggs, and one tablespoon of oil or one tablespoon of coconut oil, whatever you have left, and a pinch of salt, okay? That's it. There it is, guys. The rest of the ingredients. Mm, I must say the cinnamon makes it smell like it's almost Christmas. That's what you guys call um, pumpkin spice. That's basically cinnamon. Anyway. We don't have a uh, pumpkin spice, and the best substitute for pumpkin sp spice is cinnamon. Speculas. Speculas. Oh, I'm sorry, speculas, I mean, speculas. That's how we call it in Dutch. I think I have it here. Well, we made a uh, gingerbread man uh, with you guys in one of the easy recipe videos that we share here. No, we're out, but yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna mix this and come back to you. Ago. Long time ago. Well, maybe. Uh, this Christmas, well, we'll be making them again. So, guys, guys, when you add the, you know, the rest of the ingredients, make sure that you really mix them really well for at least three or four minutes till it become like you can actually scramble it together. Yeah, well, I don't know. You can use, Mark says you can use the electric whisk. But, um, you know, the problem with banana bread is it has to have some sort of a, a texture. It can be all the way soft. Anyway, this is the time where you can add your uh, extra ingredients like I told you. I don't know if you remember. So that is, there can be one, uh, no, 50 grams of chocolate flakes or, uh, you know, that, the raisins and all that. But... In this case, I'm going to go for a handful of blueberries. They sound like rocks, but they are blueberries. Okay, so there it is. So now we have the, um, 
hot air fryer extra extra large i'm gonna take the little pan that comes with that i'm gonna butter it in a little bit with butter and then uh, pour this into there and then shake it a little bit it becomes a nice even surface so guys this is the little pan that, this is the extra extra large size pan that comes with the hot air fryer as you can oh, see it's an accessory yeah, no, it's a necessary, yeah. It doesn't come with it. Because one of you asked us when we did the video of unboxing and reviewing, you guys asked us that we didn't make clear what came with it, what didn't came with it. Well, the only thing that comes with this is the basket. And since that's the only thing that we took out of the box, uh, we, we guys, we, you guys assumed that you would get that, but uh, sorry if it was still uh, not clear. But yeah, the only thing that comes with it is this basket. All the other stuff, our own accessories, that you have to buy again um you know anyway so there it is so i'm gonna mix That's this accessory. yeah i'm gonna mix this one more time and then pour it in there by the way it's always good to make sure that um the hot air is preheated at least two or three minutes before you use it which i haven't done today because i forgot but you guys do that all right, so there it is. I might be, I, I, I might have used a little bit too much butter. Anyway, there it is. So now we're gonna put it on 160, you guys, because the cake needs the time. Don't rush it. Otherwise it's gonna get a crust and then stays mushy on the inside. So 160 or even 155, but we're gonna go for 160. And then we're gonna try, we're gonna try it doesn't uh, it doesn't have to be uh, in there for too long otherwise it's going to dry out so we're going to go for 13 minutes and then you know use a knife or something to see if it's done at this point by by then so there it goes and there it goes bon voyage guys I'm sorry, I'll, as I was telling you this, as I was telling you that the cake needs time and I asked you to do 30 minutes, my my brain was telling me something's not correct. No, it's not 30 minutes, it's 30, 30 minutes, okay? So that is three zero. But keep checking by 20, 25 minutes, keep checking if it's done because I don't know, sometimes you never know. It all depends on the the whole thing. Guys, one thing I forgot to share with you, because the hot air fryer, just how it works, the hot element is on top. Uh, it means that everything you put in there will bake um, faster on top than uh, uh, on the bottom side. So what we're gonna do is halfway when this is on 15 minutes, I'm gonna open it, see how much of a crust it is on top. If I see that it's um, like a really nice crust, then I, uh, I'll i put some uh, aluminum foil on top and then uh, give the bottom uh, part the chance to um, bake as well. Or what you can do is, if your cake looks like you can move it a little bit, you can just flip it. So, uh, so that what was, uh, uh, up is now down so that the down part of your cake will now get the you know it will get the evenly uh, heat too just to prevent it from um, you know from being baked on on the top side and still mushy inside so that's what I'm gonna do just a little something I had to share with you normally you're fine if you're doing fries or stuff like that you know of course it's always nice it's always good to try and flip whatever you have in there, but especially with cake, it can be sometimes uh, a tiny problem, but nothing you cannot solve. Look at that, you guys. Like I said, look, it's still soft, so not not gonna do anything with it. 30, uh, 13 minutes to go. Just gonna get uh, let those uh, 13 minutes run their course. So, guys, I... Uh was looking at what Mike is doing here because I love the vintage stuff and the vintage computer. But he himself reminded me to check the cake and I did. See the sensation? See, the knife is clean, which means it's 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 done. 
and I still have six minutes left of the 30 minutes. So that we, which means that on the Philips XXL, what you just saw, this recipe, you can bake it on 160 degrees for 30 minutes minus six, which is what, uh, 20, 42, 24, 24 minutes. So you only need about 24, between 20 and 24 minutes for this. If you're gonna do the exact thing that I just did. So I'm gonna take it out and then let it cool off before you cut it. Just let it cool off for about, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes. It's cooling off on the balcony. It looks delicious, guys. It looks perfect. Guys, look, I'm in the middle of another recipe. <laughs> Let's call this Asian, uh, res uh, Asian fish recipe with potatoes. I don't know how to call this. Anyway, but I forgot that I still haven't finished the other recipe I started. See how perfect this is? The banana bread. It's looking good. See? Of all sides, you guys, this is looking good. If you want to make a cake for yourself, your partner, your kid, you can also make this and then just jazz it up with uh, whipped cream, fruit, all that. See? Perfect. Can't wait. It's perfect. It's really perfect. Love it. Oh, you're going to jazz it up. Yeah. Okay. Now I said if it's a birthday we have party. Whipped cream, I think. We do have whipped cream, actually. Yes, I think. If it's still good. Uh, yeah, yeah, we can do that. Well, there you have it. So anyway, it's perfect, guys. It honestly, is look. I'm gonna cut a little bit a uh, piece just to show you how it looks on the inside. I I, I just I hate to cut this because it's so perfect, but um, we need to show you guys how it looks. To make you more confident to go make it yourself so this is how it looks see it has a nice crust but it's nice. definitely definitely not dry look it just talks to you i'm so delicious so i'm gonna share this with mike sounds like you it sounds like me yeah <laughs> there it is guys it's perfect perfect banana bread is not supposed to be uh, like a stone tablet so this is perfect mm. go make your own guys 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 i'm taking this outside because i always feel like the color inside uh, because of the light is not always true so here it is this color is not because it's burned or it's been too long in there this is what the sugar does to this let me let me make a thumbnail Oh yeah, this is perfect. Perfect. All right, thank you so much for watching, guys. Go make your own, please. You deserve this. Guys, I hope this goes well. I'm literally sw going back and forth between two recipes. But back to the banana bread, I forgot one thing. You can um, store this for up to one week if you store it in an airtight container up to one week, just cut it in nice little pieces, um, you know, so that whenever you have coffee or tea, you can just have a piece, but you can store it up to one week. It's not going to last for It's not going week. to last, no. It's not going, here, not in this household, but I'm just saying, yeah. All right, there it is. And this is really the end of this vlog. Bye guys, thank you so much for watching. Pancakes. He was gonna do the all right, guys, what I always do. All right, guys, this is it. Pancakes. Pancakes with apple slices and blueberries. It's delicious. And then some maple syrup. Pancake surprise. Mm. Look, this is the surprise. We piled them up. Surprise is this more than one. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, exactly. So have a great lunch, you guys, wherever you are, whoever you are. <laughs>